All right, so like most other Lego fans, I have boxes of these kind of random bits lying around, right? And these are all just blocks and I don't know what to do with them. So yesterday, I think it was, or a few days ago, someone, I'm not sure who still, Mr. Developer Person, uh, released a, an app for iOS called Bricket. Very, very cool. So I want to show you how that works in action with a bunch of random bricks that are here. So Bricket is um, an app that uses two of my favorite things, Lego and clever computing or AI, to figure out what you can build with your leftover, your spare bricks, your spare Lego blocks and bricks. And that's very cool. So, all right, first of all, we, um, we need to spread them out because we need to take a photo of them, but I'll get to that in just a minute. So uh, just bear with me while I spread out all these bricks, all right? All right, so there we are. Now you do need to kind of have them quite clearly spread out um, so that it can take, you know, get a proper angle on the on the brick. So don't bunch them up. I mean, there's a couple that are overlapping here, but that'll be all right for the demo. Um, and I chose a white sheet just to not interfere because sometimes it does pick up like imperfections in wood and stuff as bricks. But all right, let's see how it works. So I'll open the Bricket app here on the phone. Uh, Okay, so we're gonna scan bricks. So we just position them just properly here, like this. Try and get as many in the photo, obviously, as you can. There we go. Take a photo. And then what, what it happens is that it'll scan all these photos. See? This is very, very cool. So now it's figuring out what all the bricks are. How many bricks have we got? We have got 50 ideas from 517 bricks. All right. So let me press the little OK button here, like that. And now it's going to find out all of the different models that we can build with these bricks. So there's a smile dog. There's a sailing boat. There's a funny dog, etc. And it tells you how many bricks you need and how many are not found. So let's say we want to build, oh, this, oh, here we go. Horse drawn carriage. So there's 32 bricks that we need, five not found, but who knows, we might have them some other way, uh, some other place, or they might just be in the pile. Here we've got the instructions. So it says we need to find one of these long bits. And the cool thing is you can press the photo we just took and it'll tell you where that brick is. Oh, that's one of the ones we're actually missing. Okay, so if we have that. So the next one we need all these bricks and there they all are. So it actually points out where to find the bricks as well. This is so cool. So that one up there, or that one down there, or whatever it might be. And then you can find the bricks and go back to the instruction and keep building. And it will find alternatives. So if it can't find a brown brick, or it might think it's yellow because the lighting is sometimes a bit off, then you can just use a red one. So it'll find all the ones that matches in size or in type, not just color. And you just keep going. Here's all the instructions and that's it. Now, as far as I'm aware, um, these are both official sets and non-official sets from LEGO that you can build. So I'm not sure where the models are coming from, but they all seem pretty cool. Um, and that's Bricket. Try it out using the link in below in the description and uh, give me a comment. Give me some, uh, some feedback on this. It's a beta app, still a few quirks. It doesn't really work with Technic LEGO and it doesn't work with Duplo either. But in any case, I think it's really cool and it works really well. So um, try it out. Yeah, give it a go. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoy the video, hit subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one.